previously on Call of Cthulhu, and I'm not just doing this because, you know, it didn't save the fact that we got the chapter in the last episode, but previously on Call of Cthulhu. I'm pretty sure we can save this. <laughs> and back to another loading screen. Loading screens, the game. Oof. I really do not like these <laughs> screens. That's my biggest issue with the game. Not like any of the gameplay itself or the story. I mean, it starts pretty slow, but yeah, it's picked up. It's j just this. <laughs> oh my god. Can you load any slower? Like, don't, don't prove me right. Don't do it, game. Yeah, there you go. man's condition is deteriorating. And we are back. This is Dr. Fuller. It's his patient, after all. He... He's busy with Captain Fitzroy. He specifically asked us not to bother him when that's the case. Oh, of course. I'll see what I can do. Mr. Blake, can you hear me? I'm Dr. Colden. We'll take care of you. There's nothing we can do. I tried talking to him. He's catatonic. Very well. I'll examine him. Thirty-year-old subject. Severe hypothermia. Erythematous papules around the eyes and eardrums. Necrosed palupal tissue. Lord, this smell. His skin shows abnormal loss of color and seems dried out. He's totally dehydrated. His fingertips and toes seem to feature a slight ring under the skin. Tender at the touch. Slightly sticky. I bet it was Cthulhu. Cthulhu sucked him off. And now he's Severe all dried up. malnutrition. Swollen abdomen with traces of petechia. Huh. Doesn't seem like an edema. Slight protuberances seem to indicate the presence of a foreign body. So, Doctor, an opinion? I'm not sure I have the necessary knowledge to treat this man. Don't say that. You're our most worthy doctor, after Dr. Fuller. Some of his symptoms are beyond my comprehension. What did you find? The dude's been attacked by an octopus? Did you examine his abdomen? It would seem there's something inside. He hasn't eaten in days. Are you certain it's not an edema? No. Can't you recognize an edema? Pushing with your finger won't leave a trace. And look at these bumps. <laughs> it's not like he could be pregnant. Whatever it is, this man has something inside him that shouldn't be there. We should operate on him at once. Dr. Fuller said not to worry, that the edema would go away by itself. It's not an edema, no. lady! I'm not sure Dr. Fuller is telling the truth. It's an alien baby! It's an alien baby! In spite of the muscle contractions, his arms seem limp. Yes. Or they possibly calcified, not the squid right. that we and turned yet, into at the end of Bloodborne. If there is a bone in this arm, it's softer than that of a newborn baby. What about his cranium? It's soft at the touch. It does seem like the skull of a baby. Look at these sticky rings growing at his fingertips. What can be happening? I'm sure you'll find an explanation. You have to. Transforming? Transforming into Cthulhu? I see signs of hypodermoclysis, but he's still dehydrated. When was his last IV? He's constantly under perfusion. I've even gone beyond the recommended dose to no avail. And you won't believe me, but... When we bathed him earlier... He seemed to feel better? Yes. Like he needs an aquarium, not a perfusion. But that doesn't explain his condition. So, let's just chuck him in the ocean and let him be free. We will name him Willy. I almost don't believe it myself, but these symptoms are not those usually associated with the human species. What do you mean? Don't tell me you believe in extraterrestrials. No. 
This poor man is from our world, all right. But his body going unnatural mutations. And this transformation is killing him. His body simply can't cope. Where could he have gotten such an infection? I pray that it's not here. Dr. Cowden, may I know what you're doing to my patient? What I'm doing? How about what you've done to him? Let us calm down, my dear Marie. I don't appreciate your tone, nor your... But dude, we're not dumbasses. The dude's turning into a squid. All my patients provide him with the best available care. You turn people your into squids? Your imagination is without limit. It's your homemade drug again, is it not? Those people are not your guinea pigs. There, there. What have you seen to put you in such a state? The dude has a freaking alien in his stomach, man. These are alarming symptoms. If we don't act, he'll die. Do you believe that? I'm not as convinced, you see. I even of course the old white man man's a douche. Of chance of completely healing from his ailments. No, doctor. This patient isn't himself anymore. He's dying. Really? What do you mean by isn't himself? Hugo Strange, stop being a dumbass. His physical characteristics, they are more animal than human now. Fascinating. An animal, you say? Could you be more precise? Cephalopod, perhaps. <sighs> this amuses you. I was going to go with I know your thirst for knowledge, Doctor. It's your innocent worries for this man that have you overreacting. For this man, <laughs> How others whose medical dare we overreact about a dude growing an I alien in his stomach. My discovery. These people owe me their life, but the world isn't ready yet. It will be in time. I will not let you do this. You disappoint me, Marie, but I still have hope you'll one day share my point of view. In the meantime, take care of your own patients and try not to forget who you're dealing with. Hugo Strange. Was that a threat? What did he mean? Yeah, it was, it was a, a threat, warning. lady. Jesus. Dr. Fuller is this institution's founder and one of our profession's most influential voices. My word is of no weight against his. If I continue to protest, I will only ruin my reputation and career. It's scandalous. Can't we do anything? Is there no evidence of his crimes? Oh, that evidence exists. I'm sure of it. I need to find the missing medical files. And where would you find those? In his office? What if you get caught? I'd rather not think about that. I'm counting on your discretion. Of course, Doctor. You can count on me. I'll keep Mum. We're all gonna die, aren't we? Yeah, we're all gonna die. So, where is his office? Hello, people, yeah. You look familiar. He broke his back in an accident down by the docks. Ow. Where are you? She recently came back from the surgical block. She's stable. Given her file, a nephrectomy would have been inevitable. But Fuller was able to save her kidney. Did he do that? Aww. What is the boiler room key doing here? The I don't key know, to the but boiler maybe room. take it? Not where I expected to find it. No, not gonna take it? Okay. Let's continue not making sense. see this place outside of the insanity ward. Hey, you're not dead. Still. Ethan. Marie, I... What are you doing here? I'm waiting for my medication, of course. Why?
You're not here for treatment, right? Am I so obvious? Yeah. <laughs> Only to me. I know you worry about me. I trust you. I'm happy to see you. Me too, Ethan. You're also supposed to be all? dead. Well, there might be something else. I'm not sure. Tell me. I have nightmares. Yeah, he's gonna die. Every he's... night. It seems it's stupid, I know, but they're terrible. Actually, you're not the only one. No. No one has ever seen the things I see. It's like I'm turning mad. So many people have this affliction. It's like an epidemic. Do you think it might be related to Fuller's work? Probably. I don't know yet, but I will figure all this out. Everyone in Darkwater is suffering from nightmares. Really? We don't have any medication left. Oh. There's no excuse then. I should let you work. Take care, Ethan. You too, Marie. Don't worry. Detective... What's his face? Has... We'll have the same face! Ah! Uh, at the office. Let's hope I can go through the administration office. The operating room is never accessible after an operation. Sorry, but nobody can take anything until I finish the inventory. Lady, I'm just trying to break into our boss's office, okay? Give me a break. I'm just saying we could cause an accident in the boiler room, get people distracted so we can sneak into his office, you know? I have little time for you, Doctor. Wait a minute. Where do you think you're going? You just said you had no time for me. Dr. Colden. Mrs. Donovan. Nobody goes into Dr. Fuller's office. But rest assured, I'll tell him you came by. That won't be necessary. Thank you. I will tell him, nonetheless. I hate you, lady. I hate you so much. Can you, like, knock around? What can be a dist- No, can't distract her with music. How about we just knock her out? We'll take this face, smash her over the head. She's in a hospital. Nothing. Sh and, you know, we can treat her afterwards. What? What's the, you know, excuse for abuse back in the day? She just fell down the stairs? Yeah, she she just slipped, hit her head on a vase that was over here. And you know what? I'm starting to not believe it. Okay. Any distraction noodles? Storage room, do you get oh, my leg? I'm not joking. I saw the schedule. She's alone in the bathroom again. And she still says nothing to that old witch, Donovan. Oh, listen to the way you talk, you naughty girl. <laughs> and the answer is no. You can imagine that she doesn't dare say a thing. That silly goose lets herself be trodden on. Oh well, at least we won't have to clean for a while. I am just wait and see the next time the water's cut off. It's a real show. Sounds like we need to go cut off some water. Dr. Colden? So do you uh, know where this is? Water is. She's a witch, an old hag. I didn't make this up. Elizabeth, you all right? Why is this room in such a state? Because, as always, I'm cleaning it by myself. And the water was once again shut off this morning. I had to bother Mrs. Donovan again, giving her a new excuse to belittle me. You know what you should do? You should fight the power. Do you really need Mrs. Donovan to open a valve? Why not ask the janitor? I can't make these decisions without her approval. Imagine if there were a leak. 
Anyhow, the boiler room is locked half the time. So every time the water gets shut off, I have to go and endure her reproach until she's settled the problem. I see. Courage, Elizabeth. Thank you, Doctor. That sounds like how I'm about to screw you over. <laughs> Seriously, why did we not take the key when we had the opportunity to just get... Okay, where is the damn room? Hello? Really, I feel bad about getting you in trouble. The key to the boiler room. All I have to do is shut off the water and hope Donovan takes the bait. Shut this with my bare hands. I need a tool. Like what? I mean, there's a bunch of shit on the ground, lady. Why, why don't we just use one of these now? We, we gotta go out to find a tool. This just seems like an arbitrary amount of things to do to solve the problem. Hey, Officer Bradley, want to be a tool? Come on, Is be a tool. All right, Ethan? Yeah, I just... I will... Oh. He's not being a tool, is he? Nope. Damn it. Brad. Just... Anyone got any tools around here I can use? Any tools. Go once. Anyone got a tool? I don't know what I'm looking for, but I'm looking for something. This is riveting gameplay. I like how we're on such a high, being the shambler and everything. Now we're just here, walking around hospital, looking for a tool. What the shit happened to you? Why did nobody tell me about her admission? What? Mrs. Sanders? Did you see the Shambler? I feel like he may have seen the Shambler. Doctor, please. Uh, my chest. Oh. His perfusion of a semi-physiological solution doesn't seem to work. He's undergoing a ventricular fibrillation. Okay. Nurse, Deborah, come and help me, please. His potassium level is too high. Replace it with 2% glucose solution with insulin, calcium, and sodium bicarbonate. I'll tend to it right away. Thank you. He's in your hands. Yeah. Do any of you have two or can use? Seriously, two hey, or What's he doing here? Probably being experimented on turned into a Cthulhu monster. What is this? Tool! Nope. Oh! Well, that's convenient. No one ask why the boiler room is open. I feel guilty about Elizabeth, but I need the diversion. Sorry, girlfriend. Dr. Colden, might there be a problem with the water? I was about to mention it. It seems it's been cut off yet again. I can't take this, Marie. I feel I'm gonna burst. 
It's not your fault if we have defective plumbing. And yet, I'm the one who gets punished because I'm gonna have to square off with that annoying old witch. Courage, Elizabeth. Here we go. And hold your tongue this time. No regrets. Elizabeth. At last, the missing files must be hidden here. If only we had a detective. Something is wrong with these masts. Detect. It's some sort of puzzle. Something is wrong with these masts. It's some sort of puzzle. I've unlocked something. Patient files. I was right. You know, the smart thing to do, I say, would be to not listen to it in here. Just go, go leave that be, you know? Oh no, the game's like, nope, you gotta listen to it in there. It would make too much sense for you to not listen to it. To listen to it in a place where you wouldn't get caught. Yeah, thanks, game. The Stendhal Syndrome. Of course. This is where Fuller found his diagnosis for Francis Sanders. Cool. Conclusions. Session number 17. Patient? Sarah Hawkins. The patient appears to have finally accepted the unusual nature of what he calls the mythos. It goes without saying that these peculiar delusions are the price that comes with her acceptance. This finger needs. belonged to a woman. Why keep it here? Why does Dr. Fuller write psychological reports about Sarah Hawkins? First, I presumed that her blood was the key. But I found nothing to explain Mrs. Hawkins' abilities. Why is Ethan on medication? The poor souls downstairs are not Fuller's only subjects. Then James came. That Charles was keeping secrets from him. I presume that he will try to break into the basement sooner or later. I am prepared. What did you do? Hawkins, Fitzroy, and Fuller. What is the connection between these three? It is fortunate that I had the presence of mind to set the mall in the basement. When all the fuss about the Hawkins incident finally comes to an end, I will dispose of her belongings. In the meantime, they must remain hidden in plain sight. Are you talking about the paintings? Hawkins is the connection. I must go back to the basement. That sounds like a terrible idea. Let's not do that. 
I should go another way. Yeah, this was open the last time we were here. Okay. No one's the wiser. You getting yelled at still? Anyone getting yelled at? Anyone? Uh, did I miss the yelling? Oh man. I don't see that. Oh, this is a terrible idea, lady. Damn that okay. Jesus don't the fuck Let's not go through that door. Of course it's gonna make us through the go the doorway. Can we not? Can we just Ah rest in peace, Doctor. Rest in peace. Hi. Ah, now that's the Marie that I know. I knew I could count on your scientific curiosity. It's time to show you what you were so eager to discover. So, if I was there, does that mean I know she's in trouble? Let's go! Damsel in distress! If you're gonna shoot me, at least have the decency to look me in the eyes. Turn around. Slowly. Yeah, I thought you were dead. Talk, filthy thief. Oh, I swear I'll shoot. Take a minute to look around. Everything points to Charles Hawkins. He's dead. No. Yeah, no. He, he has a here new a tentacle face and everything. Item. Oh, no. The book. Why was it in the safe? Have you read it? Yeah. Answer the question. How foolish of you. Now Me? you won't be able to escape his will. What did it show you? She went into Fuller's office. She was looking for Sarah Hawkins' corpse. Sarah Hawkins, you say? Let's go back to the start, shall we? Whose life did the Necronomicon choose to show you? Dr. Colden. She was at the Riverside Institute. She's in danger. I have to go. Wait. No one knows the occult better than me. You might need my help. Yeah, come with. Let's go. All right. All right. I might need you after all. Perfect. Let's meet later at the Hawkins mansion. Now go. Rescue the doctor. Thank you, Drake. We ride! After this loading screen. Oh, not a loading screen. That doesn't look safe. I swear to God, that looks like Arkham. All right, we will end the episode here and then continue it because maybe what we should do is one chapter an episode. I don't know how many chapters there are, but that's what we're going to do and helps us budget time, you know? So anyways, thank you all for watching. And I hope you all have an amazing day and stay classy. She got two little horns at the